Hello, welcome to our ZD Carneros Estate Kitchen. Um, we thought it would be fun to do our little cooking video down here today because we are celebrating the release of our brand new Pinot Noir. And of course, Carneros, our vineyard, is where we grow all of our organic Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. So, in terms of the food today, I feel like in terms of pairings with Pinot Noir, mushrooms is an obvious one, and the other most obvious is duck. And it's obvious for a reason, because it's the best. Um, most people grow up eating other birds. Like in my house, I think my mom's favorite thing on the planet, including my brother and I probably, is chicken. Everything is chicken. We had chicken every night. Sorry, mom, the secret's out. But duck is a far superior bird. It, you can see in terms of the color of duck, it's much darker, it's much more red. That's because ducks actually fly, and so their muscles are useful, <laughs> unlike chickens that just do nothing. And so the myoglobin is why the duck is more red and why it's so much more flavorful. And it has the beautiful fat cap. Um, it's just, it's just the best bird. So we are going to be doing a pan seared duck breast with some sweet potato gnocchi. Um, I already rolled and formed my sweet potato gnocchi because that's just gonna take two or three minutes to drop right at the end. Um, so we are gonna get started with our duck. So um, I took the ducks out a little while ago and I salted both sides and let them sit in the fridge. That helps to draw out more moisture. And you can you saw that I already had them dry too. You really wanna start your duck dry and it feels wrong, but you also wanna start it in a cold pan. So we're gonna come in to our duck fat and we're gonna come in and kind of score across here. We want to create a little cross hatch in our fat and we want to go through some of the fat, but we want to try to not get all the way down to the flesh. This is really gonna help the um, duck render, uh, the fat render more evenly and it's gonna keep the duck from getting into a weird shape in your pan. And you can probably see our dog roaming around here too. That's Frankie. He loves it out here. He gets to run around and be free. And it's so peaceful and quiet because our kids are in school right now. It's glorious. So I'm gonna cross hatch the duck. I'm gonna get it started in a cold pan. And it's gonna take probably 10 or 15 minutes because we really want a slow render on that. And then we're gonna come back together and we are going to put our sauce together and drop our gnocchi. So we're gonna cross hatch. We're gonna season with salt and pepper. We're gonna drop and then we'll be back. So. That's literally it, that's all she wrote. Low heat. I know, the, the no sound is so not satisfying, but it'll be worth it in the end. So I'll meet you back in a few. Okay, so our duck has been going for about 15, 20 minutes. A lot of the fat rendered out. It's looking really beautiful. So I took it out, moved it to a pan, and now it's in the oven at about 400. Um, I want the internal temp on that to get to about 130, and then I'm gonna bring it out and let it rest. In the meantime, we're going to utilize this gorgeous duck fat. There's a special place very, very, very south for people who don't properly utilize their duck fat. It's the best tasting fat in the world. So we're keeping ours. You can see all those beautiful brown bits in there. It's just gorgeous. And this sauce could not be more simple. I'm going to add in some shallot. Number one, we'll get that going. There's that sound we were yearning for earlier. Um, I'm going to add some crushed garlic, Dijon, white wine, spinach, parsley. I'm going to toss that up, let that come together. And then the gnocchi, I'm going to drop once my duck is out resting, because it really only takes like three minutes. And then once the gnocchi comes out, I'm going to toss it into our pan sauce. And then it all comes together with a beautiful Pinot Noir pairing. So I'll meet you back in just a second. Okay, so our duck is out. It's been resting. It got to an internal of 130. Uh, my sauce has just finished. I just threw in my spinach and parsley just to let that start to soften up. The gnocchi is out. We're ready to bring it all together. So to start, it's not hot, it's okay. We are going to get our duck going. So this has had time to rest. Now we're gonna look at that beautiful skin. We got such beautiful fat rendering out of it. We're gonna do a little slice on it. Oh. Get a nice little slice. We're gonna have this kind of going around the edge of the plate. We're gonna have the gnocchi in the middle. Also, let's let's address the gnocchi situation in the room. Gnocchi can take some time and patience to make from scratch. And so if you don't have that time and patience, just get pre-made gnocchi. 
your guests will still be impressed. So we're gonna fan our beautiful duck out, just like that. She's beautiful. Always have your kitchen towel ready. And then it's gonna be time to get the gnocchi going. So it's ready to roll. Let's get it right here in the middle. Let's come around like that, there we go. And look, I kind of want it to be like hugging the gnocchi. Then we're gonna come in with the sauce. So, I love adding the spinach to this sauce for many reasons, not just because I love spinach, but also because it's really beautiful. So let's get in here and stack this a little higher. This presentation matters. Okay, Scott's telling me to hurry, so I'm gonna do that now. Look at this sauce. Came together so, so beautifully. Adds a little more color. The Dijon and the ZD Chardonnay really bring it all together. That's really all she wrote. It's a showstopper, it's delicious. It's a perfect ZD Pinot Noir pairing, if I say so myself. So I hope you enjoy, I hope you enjoy the wine. See you soon, cheers.